Hi, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, I am Kathy and I try things and I give you my two cents. And I finally found them. The Cheddar Bay Biscuits, the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I finally found them at Walmart. So I decided, instead of just trying them, I would compare them to the real thing from Red Lobster and the mix. So I'm gonna try them. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of break down the price for you too. But I wanna see how much they, these, are like the real thing. First off, when I first pulled these out, um, they're much heavier. It's like, I wanna weigh them just to see. So my scale that I can't keep in my car. You have to take my word for it. So it's two ounces. This is one I got from Red Lobster. It's 1.4 ounce and then the mix is 1.6 so these are definitely heavier and yes with the mix you can make them different sizes um it says between eight and ten yeah. and i've got ten so i'm going to start with the frozen ones and here's how i bake those So as you can see, there was two pouches of the um, of the seasoning that I added to the butter. So you could like do four at a time if you wanted to do it that way. So, but I just did all eight. I'm not sure why I did all eight, but I did all eight. So, so if you're not familiar with Red Lobster's um, Cheddar Bay Biscuits, to be honest, it's the only reason I would go to Red Lobster, only reason, because uh, I do love these biscuits. It's just a biscuit with cheddar cheese, and then you have the um, garlic, butter and like um, I don't think it's parsley so anyway if you've never tried them you should try them some people think they're overrated I do not all right so see that side of it you can see much of the cheese in there okay not bad you might remember I reviewed some um garlic cheddar biscuits. I think they were Pillsbury a while back. These are definitely better than the Pillsbury. They are they are heavier than these. And these cost, let's so These were $4.98 at Walmart for eight. So what is it? Oh, and then you have to use your own butter too. So it ends up being around 69 cents a piece. It's a little steep. So next are the Red Lops, the mix. So as you saw, you did have to add water and your cheddar cheese. I added a little extra cheddar cheese. It calls for half a cup. And then um, you have to do your quarter cup of butter. Like I said, you can make between eight and 10. I made 10. So it comes with the added cheese and butter and stuff. It Because the box itself was only $2.19. I think you can get a Walmart for like $1.88, but I think I paid $2.19. Um, so with the cheese and the butter, it ends up being about 32 cents a biscuit. So much cheaper than these. Like I said, the weight was a little different, but I don't know, that didn't bother me. So this is, I almost feel like I could have added a little extra cheese, more extra cheese. So the mix, these are definitely lighter, like fluffier than these. These are very, these are a lot denser where these are a little more, um, light and airy. All right, so I went to Red Lobster to pick these up. You can get 12. I just got them to go, got them curbside. Curbside is like the best thing ever. Um, so yeah, so I got them, they were 12 for 4.79. So that breaks down to about um, 40 cents each. That's before tax, but so around 40 cents a piece. Um, I think a few of them got smashed in here. So you can see them all here, some of them. But then this was kind of like the bottom of the box. So I'm not, I think it got a little smashed. 
but that's okay. That's okay, and I got a few pieces, so I think I got 12. Uh, my husband ate a few of them when I got home, so two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yeah, so I think I got a few extra pieces, so anyway, that was fine. Where'd I go? Oh, the other day I went to Cheddar's and to go and get the croissants, and they got home and the croissants were like pancakes, but they still tasted good. Anyway, all right, so let's taste the real thing now. Right. Now these, the texture seems like in between these two. These seem lighter than these. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to see which one tastes most like this one. These are just so much heavier to me. Not that they're bad, but compared to these, to get the closest. But for me, for a biscuit, I think these are a little too dense. This one is nice and light. I um, almost feel it needs some more cheddar in it. I'm not really getting a strong cheddar flavor. And even, I didn't put all the, um, the seasoning on top, all the garlic butter, because it was so much. I felt bad about putting so much on there, but maybe I should have. Back to these. This is a very bad video for me to do because I could eat all of these. Bread is my weakness. These two are very close. All right, I'm gonna add a little more to one of these because I'm, I'm getting, these are definitely more salty because the garlic and salt. Um, I don't know if there's like a garlic powder or salt in there, but um, I just felt guilty putting so much butter on, the, on these. But it has the seasoning, so I almost feel like if I added a little more garlic to um, this, it would taste more like those. But to be honest, I like these seem lighter to me. I almost think I like these the best, to be honest. Just because I like that they're lighter than these. These, these are good, but the heaviness of them. Yeah, I really thought they were going to taste more like uh, the restaurant just because because they're already made up and I don't know. These are really salty to me. And it could just been the mix, you know, when they mixed it up uh, at the restaurant or whatever, but or didn't get evenly mixed, I guess. Um, but these definitely taste saltier than these. As far as just tasting more like the restaurant, I would go with these for sure. But overall, is just which biscuit do I like better? I think I like these the best. But I think I would add, I would add more garlic. But I would add more garlic to the, the seasoning when I poured it in the butter. I would just add more to your butter. That's the only thing because these are too salty and this... Hmm, But like that bite, that wasn't as salty at all. So I just think it didn't get mixed up well. That's fine. But overall, yeah, this is the winner for me. These these are better. As far as price, they're better in price too. They're cheaper. Um, maybe not as simple. But actually these, because these take, um, let's see, 25 to 30 minutes to bake. And these were 14 to 16 minutes. And they take no time to mix up. So... For me, it's worth it. I think I would just add a little more cheddar to them. And I did shred my own cheese. I think that tastes better than the, the packaged, but you know, you can use whatever. Um, but I think I would add a little more cheese and a little more garlic salt to the, uh, to the butter. Just my two cents, just my two cents. So here, I think I had this review down. I was gonna do these three, you know, five. So Aldi today, now Aldi wants to get in on this cheddar a biscuit and look at the box the bo <laughs> Aldi they, they make me laugh you know I get a lot of the store brands tries to look like the name brand but this is like <laughs> so anyway I have one of these to try now too because this box was only $2.89 which makes it like 36 cents where this is 69 cents because with this you have to use your butter 
your own butter with these, it's already on there before you bake them. So let me grab one. There's eight in this box. All right. Here's the, the one I got at Aldi. So it's cheddar, chive, and garlic. Like I said, it was already on the, um, on the biscuit. So did I get the bottom two done? These are okay. I don't, they are kind of dense like um, these. It's like, I wish, you could, I wish you could feel it. But if you like, you can probably see, like tell. It's just, I was just surprised how dense they are. Let's see. Let's see that, maybe not. It just, I don't know, they feel really heavy. Let me compare. This is kind of dry. They don't taste dry. I think these, the red lobster ones, are a little better than the only ones. Uh, I don't know if they're they're thirty three cents uh, better a piece. I would stick with these. If you like the Cheddar Bay Biscuits from Red Lobster, I would stick with this. Unless you have a homemade recipe that's even better, then stick with that one. But yeah, for the price of these, I, I think the price is ridiculous on these. Um, that's just me, but the price on a lot of things are ridiculous these days. But yeah, two, I wanna say $1.88, you can get $1.88 at Walmart or I think $2.19. I think I got these at Kroger or Publix. But then, of course, you have to add your cheese and your butter, but still, it ended up only being about 32 cents a piece, which isn't bad. All right, so I'm glad I finally did this. I've been wanting to do this, but I finally found these, so I was happy. I found these at Walmart. I don't know if it's exclusive to Walmart. I thought it was when they first came out, but maybe not. Maybe not now. I'm not sure, but yeah. So anyway, if you've tried these, let me know what you think. Do you think they're overrated, let me know. Like I said, some people think these are overrated. I do not. Um, so yeah, so let me know. So my question of the day is, like I mentioned, I love bread. So going out to dinner, if the restaurant gives you bread, that's bad, it's bad news for me. It's like bread or chips, I'm in trouble. So anyway, what is your favorite bread at a restaurant? Like for me, I love, um, the rolls at Texas Roadhouse. Thankfully, I don't have one nearby or I would go there too much, but I love that because they have the um, cinnamon butter, which is so good. I can't, I'm glad there's not one close. Like I said, I, I, I can't. And then I love the bread at Carrabba's and the little dipping sauce with the, uh, the olive oil and the, and the herbs are so good. So that's, yeah. there's not run, well, there's one about 40 minutes away. So keeps me from going too much. Um, those are my favorites, I think. But if I was getting chips, my favorite chips are at Chewy's. If you've never been to a Chewy's, Chewy's is so good. So yeah. All right, so yeah, let me know your favorite bread at a restaurant or chips. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. All right, once again, if you tried any of these, let me know what you think. I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.